Yo, k -Pace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I wanted to do something a little bit different, something a little more casual, a little more laid back for you guys. I want to talk about what it's like gaming in a high-end home theater. Now, disclaimer, this is going to be the first time I've ever gamed in here. I haven't done it on this projector. I haven't done it on a projector screen. I haven't used the speakers for anything other than movies. So today is going to be a first-time experience for the both of us. Now, the reason why I call it a high-end home theater is because I have a lot of really high-quality components in my system, like the Canton A96 4 standing speakers with the matching bookshelves and center. I have a Marantz processor or Monoprice model of amplifier. So I have a really good quality products in my home theater, and I've never use them for gaming. Now I want to bring to you guys a little information. You can really use your home theater for a lot more than just movies. You can play games on it and watch TV and make it a really fun family room, especially if you have children. They'll love to game in here or if you have friends over. It's a great time. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to sit down and just talk to you guys, play a few games, and listen to how the effects sound for video games, not just for movies, but for, for games too. How enveloped do I feel when I'm playing these games? And just kind of talk to you guys about it. So just so you're familiar with what I'm using, these are the Canton A96.2s, the 16 channel is the A66.2, this is an elite screen, 100 inch screen. The projector here is the UNLV, uh, I don't remember, it's from Optima, UNLV AV, I don't remember, it's going to be in the description. <laughs> we also have the subwoofers, this is the PP4000, I do have two of them, there's one back there in the corner. Um, so that's kind of a reference of what I have going on. And what's powering all that stuff is Marantz uh, processor here. This is the 7705 and then the Monolith 7 times 200 amplifier. So that's just an idea of what I'm kind of working with in this home theater so you guys can get an idea of what I'm listening to. I oh, forgot to mention we have the Canton AR800. So those are my Adobe Atmos on the top. And then on the rear are the prime elevations. All right, guys. So we're going to turn up the volume here. And I can already tell this is going to be so fun because I can hear the subs booming and stuff already kind of in the background. We're going to turn up the volume just a little bit so we can kind of hear what's going on. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the volume. What we're going to do, we're going to do a really quick race because I just want to hear what it sounds like when cars are passing me or when... Um, when the engines are ro roaring, things like that. Just see how realistic it feels to me. Because this is this is Need for Speed Heat. This game came out in about 2019, so it's a relatively new game. So the sound ingenuity inside of it should be pretty decent. So I'm going to start up a race really quickly. It'll be a quick one, and then we'll switch to a different game and see how that sounds. Let's pop up a race. Now, this is not a testament to my skill. <laughs> <laughs> so don't roast me in the comments if I crash or anything like that. I'm just kind of having fun. Again, I, I haven't played on a projector before. So what you're, what we want to look for is that input lag. If you're not familiar with gaming, what input lag is, it's how long does it take for the screen, or in this case the projector, to show a response on screen. So when I push a button on my controller, how quickly do I see that input on my screen? Um, so we're going to fire up a race here and see if I feel any input lag. I usually play on a... Uh, PC monitor which has zero input lag on it. So we're going to see how does this feel playing on a projector that's not necessarily meant for gaming and is not in gaming mode either. It's in it's calibrated for home theater. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, this sounds so good. All the cracks and pop is they're coming from every which way. Oh, this is awesome. Here we go. Let's see if I can win. By the way, guys, if you didn't know already, if you're a big fan of K-Pace Guy, I also have a K-Plays Games channel. It's called K-Plays Games. And it, it, it is what exactly what it says. It's a, it's a gaming channel where I just have fun, relax, joke with you guys, play little video games, and have a lot of fun. It's a lot different than um, this channel here, a little more serious, more businessy. My gaming channel is a lot more fun. You can see me play games like this. Ah, I do feel a little bit of like an input lag, sorta. It's not terrible. It's not. It's doable for sure. Oh my gosh, not good. Sounds amazing. So like, of course. Oh my gosh, the focus in this in the picture on the screen right now is my car. 
that's what's coming out of the signal channel is the engine noise, the tire squeal, things like that, the exhaust crackles and pops, the turbo. That's what the signal channel is handling right now. I gotta fix my car. There's like no drifting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just ran into a freaking wall. Coming out of the left and right speakers is, is, is all the other cars. Um, you can hear their engines roaring when they're behind you and they're approaching you about to pass you. You can hear that transition from when a car is coming behind you about to pass you and vice versa. As I pass that car there, I can hear that car fade behind me and now I hear it in the rears. So it sounds really good. It sounds so realistic. It's amazing. And then the picture quality, of course, looks great. This is a 4K projector on an Xbox One X. So I'm getting a really good picture. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, input lag. Holy crap. That didn't feel good. <laughs> so as I pass these flags and pass the bushes at a high speed, you can hear that through the rear speakers and it sounds absolutely awesome. It sounds so much better than my DTS-X headphones that I use. Alright guys, so now we're on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and this one's going to be fun, because um, this one's going to have bullets flying past us, comm chatter, people next to us, enemies, planes, all sorts of things that are just going to fly around our heads. And so this one's going to really give me an idea of what it's like to game on a home theater as far as from like a sound standpoint, how realistic is that. And then again, this is a game from 2019 as well, into 2020 year, so this is going to be built with a lot of really good sound engineering into it. Um, so this is really going to help me figure out what this stuff sounds like. Also, um, it's going to really show me what the input lag is on a projector. Now, again, this isn't in gaming mode. This is in regular, um, what I would have it in if I was watching a movie or something like that. Um, so I'm going to leave like that because I don't want to have to play with it right now. Um, but what I'm here for is really just the sound. So we're going to play a little Call of Duty, see how this works. I haven't played Call of Duty in forever because I don't particularly like this Call of Duty. <laughs> um, so I haven't played it. So we're going to have to ignore the fact that I'm going to die a lot. Hopefully I can give you enough gameplay to <laughs> do what I'm trying to do, which is to see how it sounds. So looks like the match already started. Let's use... I don't know what gun to use. I don't even play this game anymore. Let's run off the MP5. Okay, this game's already started, which is good. Ooh, the input lag is terrible. It looks great, but the input lag is bad. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> the input lag is so terrible. It's not bad in a sense that it's not playable, but when you come from a monitor, it's not easy. Oh, what? So, the, so instantly it sounds very good. It sounds very good for what it's worth. Hearing the people talk and hearing the this is this is not going to go well, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to shoot anybody on this uh, on this screen. It looks fantastic, though. Far better. My monitor is a 4K monitor, and it does not look this good. 4K HDR and everything it does not look this good. We got a kill. What the heck? People getting sniped around me. Let's see if we can get C real quick, guys. Oh gosh, I'm gonna snipe that. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. We gotta get out of here, gotta go. See, those grenades and stuff that are flying around sound absolutely fantastic. Sounds very realistic. I have gunshots flying all around me, the grenades in the air. My teammates are calling out things to me. I can hear that very easily, like exactly where it's coming from. Oh, why is he back here? Holy crap. We've lost Charlie, guys. We're winning. We're, we're winning now. We weren't winning when we got into the lobby. <gasps> oh. 
This looks so good. It's amazing. I don't even know where I just died from. I guess I got to my right. I think there's another guy to my right. There's a lot of people to my right. And left. Oh, I see him. I hear him. I see him and hear him. Oh, that hits. See, grenades like that and, and, and calm chatter, it just sounds so good. It's so easy to hear what I need to hear. Even on my gaming headphones that are DTS-X certified, I can hear it in 7.1 or Dolby Atmos, whatever I want to hear. Oh, no! I looked away at the last second. Even though they're certified for that, it still doesn't sound anywhere near like this. The quality of sound is nuts. Like the subwoofers and how deep they play. When, who sh oh! See, that, if I was on a monitor, I think I would have killed him. But it just, it, the experience is great. I wouldn't play competitively on a projector. It's just not going to respond fast enough to you. But, like a casual one player single player game is great on here and it, it just if you haven't gamed on your home theater you have to you really have to it's just an experience that you you don't want to go for. what's going on i just spawned here killing people on this is very hard <laughs> Is not easy because the projector. I see him too. No, a lot of camping going on, guys. A lot of camping. Did not just die right here. I did die right here. Where'd he go? All right, we got the win. Uh, yeah, we won. Yeah. So, guys, just playing on this sounds great. I mean, you see the video quality of it. It looks spectacular, and it sounds just as good as it looks. Like, I I wish I could game on a projector all the time if it had the input lag that a monitor has. So, not bad. Let's go ahead and back out of this. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to have a little casual video for you guys and just kind of talk about gaming on your home theater. That experience, again, was my first time ever doing that, and I absolutely enjoyed the experience. It's not, your home theater isn't just for movies. You can make it into whatever you want to make it out of. If you want to make it versatile and have gaming and music and then um, watch movies, you can do all that stuff. Make it two-channel. You can really have a versatile system if you'd like to, and that's kind of what I did with mine. I, I wanted mine not just be good at one thing. I wanted it to do whatever I wanted it to do at any given time. Um, so that experience was great. The over the head effects was awesome. The gunshots across me, the calm chatter, the cars, the elements in Need for Speed. It, it was a really cool experience. It's a lot better than sitting at my desk with headphones on and I can't hear anything around me. Although when it comes to competitive gaming like Call of Duty or Apex Legends, Fortnite, those games where you want to have an edge on somebody on the other team, it's important to kind of go towards a really good TV or a monitor um, because those have better response times, meaning when you press a button on your controller, it responds on your screen immediately. That was a problem when I was playing Call of Duty. Um, so with that being said, guys, try out some gaming. If you have a PS4, PS3, whatever, Xbox 360, Xbox One X, whatever you have, pull that back out and hook it up to your AVR or your pre processor and try it just a couple times and you'll actually see yourself having a lot of fun and really seeing that your system's a lot better at what it does than you think. Um, so if you enjoyed this video guys, first off, go subscribe to K Plays Games channel. That's my gaming channel. I'll leave the name right here. Go to youtube.com forward slash K Plays Games to hang out with me on my gaming channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel too. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about gaming on a home theater. Would you do it? Have you done it? What do you think about that? Leave me that comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.